really sparked my passion about women's equality is when I left school and went to university, I learned a bit about how women weren't treated as equal. But back then, I thought, this is a problem that's going to solve itself. You know, everybody realises now this should be an equal world for men and women. So when I was 20, I thought this would be a problem that was solved by the time I was 40. Um, now I'm a fair bit older than that, and we are still fighting for that equal world. And so I'm determined, as someone who's had the great privilege of leading their nation to be one of the voices that keeps pushing for change. When I was young, I was naive. I thought this would fix itself. Today's generation knows there's a problem, but they're very thoughtful about how to be change makers. And of course, we is part of that, giving them the skills to really get things done. And I think they will get things done for us on gender equality. Everybody can think about their personal behaviour. You know, when you're in a meeting, a classroom, a sporting conversation, you know, is everybody being treated as equal? Is the, you know, man talking over the woman? Is the woman's ideas being acknowledged? You know, we can make sure that we bring everybody into the discussion. And then as we get more responsibility in workplaces and leading clubs and societies, we can think about the ways that we can reach out and make sure that there are equal numbers of boys and girls, men and women involved in those groups, and they all get fair access to the leadership jobs. My message to today's youth is raise your voice, feel your power. There is a lot to do in our world to make sure that every boy and every girl gets to lead a great life and has a good education as a foundation stone. I believe in this generation to get us there.